this is my XEAV Mini Talon build. So I'm going to show you the components and parts that I have used uh, to finish this first Mini Talon that I've got from a fellow flyer. So let's get started. I have here a 3D printed canopy which I can bolt on the FPV pod. So it houses a turret for pan and tilt mechanism. In front we have here this uh, pan and tilt mechanism that is designed by Mark Kivale, one of the gurus in Mini Talons. This pan tilt is a heavy duty 360 degree pan tilt mechanism for, uh, wherein I can attach a FPV camera and another HD camera on top. So maybe soon I will be replacing with a Runcam split but as of now I'm using a Runcam Swift and a Runcam HD on top. Okay, so on this side I have here the pipe tube for the airspeed sensor and down here we have here a 3D printed front landing skid. Okay, the back of it we have here a 1.3 GHz 800 milliwatts ready made RC video transmitter. So, wherein I use a Dragon Link dipole, so I bought it from FPB Pro. So, performance of this dipole is very superb. Okay, now here we have here a hatch lock that is uh, spring loaded. So you can notice that it's lacking using a spring. So this is also 3D printed. And here I mounted a knock adapt. Again, this is one of the design of Mark Q Veil. At the tail part of the fuselage, we have here this Dragon Link dipole mount. So this is a specifically designed for Dragon Link uh, dipole antennas for UHF. And the back, I have here a new pixel LED ring, so 16 LEDs that is programmable, uh, directly connected to an Arduino board, which is um, working based on the throttle of the radio receiver. So here we have here a, a yoke for the folding propeller. Uh, I bought it from Gathers UK, so these are Aeronaut cam folders, 9x7 props, uh, designed to work for my 3S setup. So this is my prop stopper, designed by Mark Cuban, so this will prevent the folding props from overfolding. Okay. Uh, you may notice that the V-tail of this plane of this plane is already glued so non-removable so this is a motor scoop which I made from plastic spoon so these are two scoops for motor cooling and the motor I used here is a Cobra 2221 1250kV motor and down here we have a 3D printed rear landing skid replacing the stock plywood for landing again this is a design of Mark Kivail the control surfaces on the wings and the V-tails are modified such that there are hinges that connect the control surface to the main part of the wing and also I have installed a control horn back plate so the control horns are secured so these are all present on the control surfaces, both on the main wing and the V-tail. So underneath the wings, we have here a 3D printed wing skid. So this will protect the underside of the wings in landing, and especially in hard surfaces. So inside, we have here an Eagle 3 Vector OSD flight controller. So here is the GPS mounted side by side with a Dragon Link UHF micro receiver. Uh, these two components are mounted on a rear deck, 3D printed rear deck designed by Mark Kivale. Underneath we have here the 
Arduino board that is controlling the near pixel ring. So under the flight controller deck, we have there the ESC. I don't know if you can see it, but there's the ESC underneath as well as the LC filter for the video and the power module so on this side we have here an Eagle Tree airspeed sensor okay. and if you notice the wires are I, I'm trying to keep it clean but the wires are still dangling so maybe I will add uh, zip the holders on the, on the fuselage okay. 